a circular coil with consisting of 100 number of turns so question solution 1 what is given number of turns are 100 radius 8 into 10 is to the power minus 2 meter and current is 0.4 ampere milli ampere no ampere 0.4 ampere what is desired is a magnetic magnitude of magnetic field at the center of coil this is NCRT question so use formula B equal to mu naught I over 2 pi R sorry 2 R mu naught value is 4 pi into 10 raised to the power minus 7 I is 0 0.4 number of turns also you have to multiply here so it is 100 divided by 2 into R 8 into 10 raised to the power minus 2 if we see 16 here 16 is here 4 jar 2 4 point 1 and then it is 10 raised to the power 3 and then pi that is pi is left and 10 raised to the power minus 4 tesla that you can write 3.14 into 10 raised to the power minus 4 tesla Two, there are two coils X and Y as shown in figure and one is carrying current anti-clockwise another is carrying current Y is carrying current clockwise and these are the specifications given <clears throat> what is the question for an observer looking at the coil facing west give magnitude and direction of net magnetic field at common center O ok so magnetic field due to this X V1 is equal to mu naught <coughs> N1 I1 over 2R so when you put the value uh, 4 pi into 10 raised to the power minus 7 N1 is 20 I1 is 16 divided by 2 into 0.16 your answer comes out to be 4 pi into 10 raised to the power minus 7 tesla <coughs> same formula you can use in the second question y for y coil also so you can say v2 is equal to mu naught n2 i2 over 2R2 this is R1 when you put the value say mu naught is 4 pi into 10 raised to power minus 7 and 2 is 25 I2 is 18 divided by 2 R2 is 0 0.1 your answer comes out to be after calculation 9 pi into 10 raised to the power minus 4 tesla here so it is minus 4 tesla now when we look at the direction of magnetic field because this coil x is carrying current this way so keeping thumb in the direction of current and tilt your finger at center it comes up this is current clockwise so keep your thumb in the direction of current it is going inward so the net magnetic field net magnetic field will be equal to 
which one is greater b2 so b2 minus b1 so what you will have 9 pi into 10 raised to the power minus 4 minus 4 pi into 10 raised to the power minus 4 5 pi into 10 raised to the power minus 4 tesla that's what is the direction sorry uh, magnitude This question says there are two coils P and Q. Coil P is an perpendicular plane. This is P. This is coil Q. Right? carrying same current currents are different I1 and I2 the rest R is same radius is same only since the coils are having perpendicular plane placed in perpendicular plane one is in XY plane another is in YZ plane it means uh, the magnetic field produced by these coils will also be in perpendicular direction so magnetic field due to coil P V1 is equal to mu naught I over 2R I1 that is 4 pi into 10 raised to the power minus 7 into 1 radius is 2 pi r what should I do uh, radius is same ok so no need to put the value that is 2 pi into 10 raised to the power minus 7 over r tesla Magnetic field due to Q coil Q B2 is equal to again same formula I2 over 2R so this will be 4 pi into 10 is to the power minus 7 2 R current here is root 3 so it is 2 pi root 3 into 10 is to the power minus 7 divided by r. Now these two fields are at right angles. So the net magnetic field or net field use Pythagoras because it is a quantity. You see what is common 2 pi r into 10 raised to the power 7 is common so you keep it out of the square root. What will be going inside it is 1 square plus root 3 whole square. So root 3 whole square is 3 plus 1 4 square root is so your answer is 4 pi into 10 raised to the power minus 7 over r that you can put it as mu naught over r undoubtedly because you are back to the value of mu naught. Now another part is very interesting. What is the direction of resultant magnetic field? So 10 alpha for direction. that is B2 over B1 that comes out straight away root 3 2 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 r cancels so this implies alpha is equal to 60 degree so resultant will make 
this angle from the x-axis. Question number 4 is also very interesting. It goes like this, electron is revolving in hydrogen atom. So solution for question number 4. Hydrogen atom, radius is 0 0.5 and strong. And with orbital velocity is 2.2 into 10 raised to the power a 6 meter. Velocity 2.2 10 raised to the power 6 meter per second. Right? What is the magnitude of magnetic field at the center of a coil? Interesting question. This is nucleus of hydrogen atom. Electron is revolving around it. With this velocity, radius is this. You will find my a question says calculate magnetic field at the center of nucleus. So it is the case of circular coil again, but we have to locate what is the current. Right? So first thing is let's find out the time period. Time period is 2 pi r over v that is 2 pi r 0 0.5 into 10 raised to the power minus 10 2.2 into 10 raised to the power 6 that's what is time period now the frequency nu is reciprocal of time period so you can say it is 2.2 into 10 raised to the power 6, 2 pi 0 0.5 into 10 raised to the power minus 10. I am not solving at each step. You will put up carry forward these values and then put up the values finally. Now we are looking forward for the current. Current by definition I is equal to Q over T and Q by quantization is N E over T. N is number of uh, integer. So how many electrons you will count? One. So that is you can say E and T is 1 over T is frequency. So you have got the expression for current. Now it is easier. B is equal to mu naught I over 2 R 4 pi into 10 raised to the power minus 7. Charge of an electron 1.6 into 10 raised to the power minus 19. Frequency is this. 2.2 into 10 raised to the power minus sorry plus 6 divided by 2 pi 0 0.5 into 10 raised to the power minus 10 this is the value of this frequency when I put it right now 2r so 2 into r is 0 0.5 into 10 raised to the power minus 10. Just have a look. Frequency value I kept it as such. Just put it here. So for mu naught is 4 pi charge of an electron then 2 into 10 raised to the power uh, 2.2 into 10 to the power 6 2 pi into 10 to the power minus 10 and then 2r value is also put up. So when you solve all this, you will get answer as 14.08 
गैस लैम क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव गोज लाइक दिस देयर इज ए सर्कुलर कॉयल एंड वन इन फाइनाइटली लॉन्ग स्टेट कंडक्टर इन कॉन्टैक्ट एंड यू हैव टू फाइंड मैग्नेटिक फील्ड नेट मैग्नेटिक फील्ड एट द सेंटर सो कैलकुलेट फर्स्ट वन बाई वन मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ड्यू टू अ कॉयल ड्यू टू कॉय वी वन इज इक्वल टू म्यू नॉट आई ओवर टू पाई आर टू आर राइट दिस फील्ड विल बी पॉइंटिंग डाउनवर्ड यू कैन Calculate from like this straight in the direction of current. Then fingers are getting into the plane. Magnetic field due to conductor V two is equal to mu naught i. Over two pi r, this field will be outward. See, moving out, pointing upward. So net magnetic field B is equal to. V1 minus V2. What we can take common? Mu naught I over 2 R. What is left? 1 minus 1 over pi. Let us see another question. Six. According to this, the length of the wire is 88 cm. It is first converted into a square, then converted into a circle. And what you have to find the ratio of magnetic field of two cases. This we have already done. Uh, uh, I have given you idea, not done. So what is this? Just see. Uh, 88 cm. Uh, for circle, circular coil, right? You find out the radius. Two pi r is equal to eighty-eight. So radius is equal to eighty-eight over two pi, forty-four over pi centimeter. then magnetic field due to a coil b1 is equal to mu not i over 2r 4 pi into 10 raised to the power minus 7 current is as per the question is 10 ampere Yes, radius is forty-four into ten raised to the power minus two into pi. That comes out to be four point four nine into ten raised to the power minus five tesla. in case of a square there are four sides in case of a square then each side will be 22 cm here at the center 
this is the distance r and angle r 45 45 degree to magnetic field due to a single y or single side ab will be mu naught i over 2 pi r and angle is also there sin alpha sin beta that is mu naught i over or we can put the value right here no problem that is 4 pi into 10 raised to the power minus 7 current is 10 2 pi radius this radius means distance perpendicular distance so perpendicular distance with half of this side that is 11 into 10 raised to the power minus 2 sin sin 45 degree plus sin 45 degree and that is root 2 so it is 4 pi 10 raised to the power minus 7 into 10 2 pi into 10 raised to the 11 into 10 is power minus 10 2 by root 2 when you solve this it comes out 10.28 into 10 raised to the power minus 5 tesla as we have discussed earlier let's come like going back to the same point now that magnetic field due to square is always greater so you can say then uh, magnetic field due to square is Uh, 4 times due to square that is uh, 10 into 10 is to the power 4 that will be actually 4 times of this so here we can multiply 4 more then you will get this answer so what is the ratio? Now ratio you can easily find. How can you find ratio? Do I need to tell this also? Circular coil over a square. Circular coil value is 4.49 into 10 is to the power minus 5. This is 10.28 into 10 raised to the power minus 5. Your answer will be 0 0.4368. There are two coils which are placed like this as it is shown. And O is the midpoint this. You have to find net magnetic field at this point. Uh, when we find the direction of, because these coils are facing like this. So the magnetic field at the center will be finally added. When you calculate the direction, you can see. Uh, both are having n number of turns. Radius r. And this is of course r by 2. So this whole is R, that half is R by 2. Using formula for magnetic field at an axial point, B is equal to mu naught i n r square divided by 2 r square plus 
x square raised to the power 3 by 2 but x is equal to this is x x is equal to r by 2 so when I put up this value here mu naught i and r square 2 r square plus r square by 4 raised to the power 3 by 2 your answer will be mu naught i n r square over 2 r cube and then pi by 4 raised to the power 3 by 2 when you solve this r square 1 r cancel when you solve this then what is left uh, 0 0.3 3 6 mu naught i n over r so total magnetic field b is equal to b1 plus b2 since b1 and b2 are same because everything is given same so you can say 0 0.72 mu naught i n over r. This is the answer for question number 7.